welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be doing something a little different, um, kind of taking it back to my roots and doing an everyday, not an everyday, but just a makeup look, um, slash like get ready with me, Q&A, all of the above kind of little thing. I've already gone ahead and did my eyes, my eyebrows, and my lashes. I figured, um, I actually got a lot of questions about my complexion and how I make my foundation look smooth and perfect, so I thought I would just do a base, like a full base um, tutorial on how I get that done. And then while I'm showing you guys the products and kind of my techniques, I thought I'd answer a couple of questions that I had asked on Instagram um, that I had gotten. I did get quite a bit, so I'm probably not going to get through all of them, but I'll answer whatever I think is the most important or just random questions. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I actually do is prep my skin. Prepping your skin is so important. Prime my base. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is grab my favorite um, primer, which is the uh, Bobbi Brown um, Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love this stuff. You know, it's it's a cream, but it can work as a primer. So I kind of just go ahead and put that everywhere. Okay, so the second thing I'm gonna do is uh, go in with the second primer, which is the Vitamin Glow Smashbox Primer. I absolutely love this primer as well and I just like to do that because my skin during the winter months kind of are super super dry so I like to just make sure when putting on foundation that I have a really good base that's hydrated so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a color corrector I know if you are someone of color um, and kind of are on the deeper end um, you might struggle with hyperpigmentation which is something that I have been struggling with my entire life um, that being said in order for my foundation to not look ashy, I need to color correct, especially around my mouth, because my mouth is darker. We'll be linking all of these products down below, and I kind of just apply it everywhere um, around my mouth. And yeah. So someone asked me, when you were younger, did you ever think this would be your life? Um, no. When I was younger, I never thought I would be doing makeup, that's for sure. I was such a tomboy. I played sports all the time. Um, and I just, yeah, like I never thought that, I was never really into makeup either, like, um, I did dance, but that was about the, about it, like when it came to makeup, I would only wear makeup for performances, even in high school, I didn't really wear any makeup, um, so no, I never thought that this would be my life, but here we are, and no regrets. <laughs> Now, the next thing I'm going to do is start with my foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the Soft Matte Com Complete Foundation from NARS in the color Carcass. I really enjoy this foundation. I do think this is a tad bit too dark for me. This is probably more of my shop summer shade, and you guys will probably see it in the video that it is dark, but I use concealer to just brighten up the, uh, the rest of my face, so you don't actually see it when I'm actually done the whole look, so just bear with me, guys. Um, so the next question is, how do you find the right foundation for your skin tone? So I think this is trial and error, to be quite honest. I don't think you can just walk into Sephora and ask an employee to like find your exact shade. I think it's a trial and error basis because in the store it might look one way and then once you leave it might look one way and then once it oxidizes it might look another way. But I, I think the best way to do it is kind of swatch while you're at the store, ask for samples, take it home, see what works for you and then go from there. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. So I don't know if you can see on the camera but it is a little darker for me compared to my neck. Um, and I do find that I am a lot lighter neck down. Um, so what I do is I'm gonna go ahead and conceal so that you guys can see how I kind of fix up that error per se. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my face. So I'm gonna be using the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer as well as the Rare Beauty Concealer. I love both of these concealers. They're probably my top two at the moment. I'm just gonna put some right there, a little bit in the corner, and a little goes a long way. I used to be one of those girls that applied concealer like the big triangle, and I think in the past couple months I kind of changed up the way I do things, and I actually like doing it better this way. I just feel like it lifts your face more, and um, less product is more. Like, why do we really need that much concealer, you know? Then I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty one and kind of use it to brighten up, and I'm just gonna place it on top, and just a little there, and that's it. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wait, uh, we're gonna give it like a minute or two, and then we're gonna go ahead and blend it all out 
so they can let us snatched. Um, while we're waiting, I'll answer another question. Um, when did you start getting into makeup and how did you know you wanted to pursue it? I got into makeup in 2017. Actually, I got into hair in 2017. I used to always do my makeup and my cousin's makeup since I was in high school, I would say. My sister's makeup, everything. Um, but in 2017, I kind of, I think I kind of just started doing it. Um, I used to go along with Nuska and do the hair a lot when she would do the makeup for clients. And I kind of opened up an Instagram page. It started doing really well and people wanted to see more of me. So I started posting um, pictures and it really kind of blew up. Um, for me and Instagram back then is not Instagram now. It's a lot harder I find now the growth But in the beginning it really did well for me and it kind of pushed me to hey, let's just see where this takes me um, but I Mean even till this day there's days where I contemplate why am I doing this? It's so It's a lot, but I just get it done. You know, it's what I love and I think one day I want this to be my full-time career So I'm out here. I'm grinding really pressing a concealer into my under eyes. I don't want it to crease anywhere. So I'm really going ahead and pressing that product in. Um, okay, so we're done with the under eye. Uh, sorry, the concealer. Now we're gonna go and bake. I love the Huda Beauty Banana Bread um, Easy Bake Powder. I, I've read a lot of reviews. A lot of people actually don't like it because of the scent, because um, I think there's a lot of like perfume or I don't know what is used in it. Um, but I find that it works really well. I use it on my clients. I really just like the color of it. I do also enjoy the Laura Mercier one. Here, very important to make sure there's no creasing under your eyes before you start baking. You wanna make sure it's crease free and if there is creases, you're gonna take a brush or your beauty blender and make sure it's um, blended out or like crease free and then you're gonna go in and press in with your powder. Someone asked advice while quitting. Uh, sorry, advice when you feel like quitting. Um, honestly, I feel like quitting every other day. It's not an easy journey and I feel like um, this person might be talking about something else, but you have to figure out your why. I think that's the biggest thing. I feel like you have to look back and say, why did I start this? Is this something I am actually passionate about? Is this something I want to continue? Um, and I think once you figure that out, no matter how hard things get and how difficult or tiring or just fed up you may get, you'll never stop because it's what you wanted. It's your dream, right? And you're going to chase your dream no matter what. And I think that's kind of what keeps me going. I'm going to grab my MAC Compact, so the Studio Fix Compact from MAC. Um, I'm using NC43 today. Honestly, I can use 42, 43, or 45, depending on my mood, slash the season. Um, hands down, my favorite pressed foundation or um, powder, whatever it's called. Um, I love this so much. I use it on all my clients, and I just think it's just so great. So I'm gonna take a brush and I'm going to apply some on here and I'm gonna use this to brush away my bake. So the next question someone asked is, is your, if your boyfriend was in Tamil, would your parents be okay with it? Um, when I was younger, I don't think my mom was happy that I was talking to non-Tamil people, but I think as I got older, she was just happy that I had someone. And I think when it comes down to it, I would I could never see my parents saying no if he honestly truly did treat me right. And I was happy. Like I just don't see my parents saying no, no matter what race or religion he was. So I am blessed in that sense. But I did end up finding a Tamil guy. So I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to do my best to like answer questions, explain and like, you know, but it's kind of hard. So next. I am going in with a bronzer from Fenty Beauty. It is my absolute favorite, favorite bronzer. I love this bronzer so much. Um, I think it's just so nice on my skin tone. It really warms up my face and gives me that depth that I'm looking for. Um, so if you guys are looking into getting a bronzer, I would suggest getting one of the Rihanna Fenty Beauty bronzers. So someone asked, has my parents always been easygoing? Um, no. My dad has definitely been always easygoing. My mom, on the other hand, was not. She definitely was very hard on me as a child. Um, school, studies, extracurriculars, um, not hanging out with friends. But yeah, I had a really 
strict childhood until I went to uni and I met Mayu. Then things went, like literally went like 360. Like she stopped caring. So yeah, there's your answer. Next product I'm gonna be using is blush. So the first thing I, I, I've been loving liquid blushes recently and I really, 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 really like the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty blush and I'm using it in the color Love. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use it. Um, I do wanna mention with this product, um, you can't let it dry because I did that mistake once and I it was just patchy so you have to right when you put it on you kind of have to use it I like using my finger for this because it is a liquid form and I find that it just kind of distributes it really nicely um, so I just take two fingers and I kind of just tap everywhere and oh my god do you see that it is stunning it is such a stunning pink oh wow I'm obsessed. I need to get more of these. So someone asked, can I share my workouts and how I stay so fit? To be quite honest, I don't think I'm that fit, um, especially with COVID. I feel like it really affected my mental, physical health. Um, but I do, like prior to COVID, I probably was in the gym four to five times a week um, and I was fit then, but I've gained weight since then and I'm not happy about it. So I'm trying to change my ways, even though we're not in a gym and I don't want to make any more excuses for myself and honestly it depends on the day like sometimes I do my own workout sometimes I'll follow things on YouTube um, but maybe one day if you guys want I can record one of my workouts that I do on my own bro some people are such savages someone asked me if I had sex I mean I've been with my man for four years do the math and like I ain't trying to be celibate so there's your answer. The next product I'm going to be using is the Benefit Tickle Highlight. I bought this at iMats um, two years ago and I love, I loved it. It literally looks pink, but when you swatch it, it it's like gold. Um, so it's so nice on melanin skin. So I really, really like this um, highlight. And I don't, I don't actually like using a lot of highlight. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that. I'm not like a huge highlight person, but I do like using some just to like make it pop because it is really nice in pictures, um, especially like on a sunny day and it's like shimmering. And then I use some on my nose for that natural contour and then on my cupid's bow. I don't actually like putting anything under my eyebrows. I find that it starts looking a little sweaty for me. So that's where I kind of use it and bang, okay? Okay, she's cute. Now what I want to do is I really want to use a pop of color underneath my eyes. So I always do my under eyes after I'm done my entire face. Someone else asked how do I deal with negativity? I think this is a question I get asked a lot and I think I do deal with a lot of negativity on Instagram. Even on YouTube I feel like some people can be really harsh, um, really rude. Um, especially with the videos I do with my parents, some people don't understand how we have such an open relationship or how I can like show my parents pictures or videos of certain things. Even on my Instagram pictures, there's a lot of people that comment rude things about me. But I don't know, I just don't want to phase me. It really doesn't bother me. It doesn't get under my skin. Sometimes I delete the comments. Sometimes I will block the user. Um, but I just don't let it get to me. And I know that's easier said than done, but I feel like once you've been in this industry for as long as I have, which isn't even that long, but like whatever, you kind of build a tolerance to ignorant people and you just don't want to give, you realize you, there's no point in giving your energy to people like that. Like why give them that energy? That's what they're seeking. Why give them that attention? You don't want to do that. So I find just ignoring it is probably the best. Someone asked how I balance everything. I think this is another question I get a lot. And I think the reason is because I work a full-time job, I do content creating, and then there's YouTube as well. I feel like I work three jobs, and during the summers, I, I feel like I'm working four jobs because I'm also doing clients' makeup and stuff like that. So it is stressful, it is hard, and there are days or even weeks I am burnt out, um, especially when things don't go as planned or whatever, or, you know, just everyone has their bad days. But again, I look back at my why, and I grind and I'm young I can do it now I might not be able to do this when I'm 34 or 30 or whatever so I look at that and I look at my age and I take that as a blessing that I started as young as I did um and I just keep working towards my goals and that's kind of how it is so now that we're done basically everything 
I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with Max Studio Fix um, primer or setting water or whatever. I don't know why I'm blanking right now, but you get it. I'm using this. Okay, she set, she snatched. Okay, okay, guys. So here is the completed look. Uh, look, I did do my lips off camera, but I will be listing everything down below. If you guys want a lip tutorial, then let me know when I can do that separately um i hope you guys enjoy today's video i know it was a little different i promise i'll have my parents or my back on my channel next week i just wanted to bring things back to uh, makeup because i do enjoy doing makeup and i want to share a little bit of that with you guys so i really truly do hope you guys enjoy this video and as always if you guys live, like this video then just go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe or comment down below i will see you in my next video and i love you guys